My name is Jordan Upchurch, and I am here today to sadly talk to you about something that I was hoping I would never, ever, ever have to say. So last year, I made a video um, that was called Let's Save Arkansas. Arkansas was trying to pass some discrimination laws and stuff like that from for the LGBT community, and so I came out and tried to make people aware of what was going on. As you all know, I go to college in Springfield, Missouri. I'd like to say that I call Missouri my home because I've lived here the longest out of anywhere else. Sadly, other people don't want me to make it feel like it's home. There's something called SJR 39. That stands for Senate Joint Resolution 39. It's a, a bill that's gone through the Senate in Missouri, and it's not looking great. It's actually looking really, really bad. It's onto the House right now, and I believe the House is discussing it as we speak right now. The problem is with it is that it is an amendment that will be added to the Missouri State Constitution that will state that religious organizations, or anybody who is religious, has the right to turn away people based on religious belief, based around same-sex marriage. That is the problem with the LGBT discrimination. I have come up today with eight reasons why this should not be a thing. Eight, eight reasons, reasons why to say Missouri, Missouri with Jordan Upchurch. You should oppose this is because people have come out against it. And surprisingly, a good number of people have come out against it. That includes the governor of Missouri. He's come out against it. We've also had several different companies here. We've had Monsanto. Um, we've had the St. Louis Chamber of Commerce, the Kansas City Chamber of Commerce. All of those different groups have come out. And there's a long list of companies that are actually have come out against it as well. Um, and you can see all of those down in the list below on Promo's website. But it, if you have all of these people speaking out against it, I think that you should probably stop and say, okay, we actually have businesses coming in saying, the people who are trying to protect saying, this is not needed. You are going overboard. So I got some of this information from the protectthyneighbor.org. Um, they're a really good organization on things that are um, not nice to all, essentially, and they're very good on equality for all people. Um, they explain it very nicely here. Um, essentially, what SJR 39 would do is it would amend the state constitution to make it easier for organizations and businesses to discriminate against LGBT citizens based on religion. And that is the problem there. Um, so, lots of things to talk about here. Number three, this is also very, very, very similar to Indiana's religious freedom law that they had passed last year. As you all recall, Indiana was in the news for about two or three weeks um, for a timetable that Mike Pence, or Governor Pence, um, who is the governor of Indiana, signed a bill that would do essentially the exact same thing that this bill would do. When he signed it, he immediately started to receiving backlash for it. About 30 companies, CEOs in Indiana came out against it, and these are very large companies. Um, several companies even said, went as far as saying, we're not going to expand here anymore. Um, an example of that is Angie's List. They actually had a expansion package of about $40 million that they planned on expanding, into Indiana and on top of a thousand jobs and they said no nope, we're not doing it anymore because you are not being welcoming to everybody and so that's a lot of money on top of that there was a lot of different conferences that were pulled people were asking the major league sports to pull sporting events from those states all of these different things came out against that and even cities and states started doing travel bans to that specific state for anything that was state funded loses a lot of money on our economy, which doesn't just affect LGBT people, this affects everyone. Number four, so in order for this to pass, essentially what it has to do is it has to go through the House and the Senate, and then people of Missouri will have to vote on it. When people of Missouri vote on it, that is very destructive to LGBT people. Anytime there is a vote that the people have to decide the rights for the LGBT community, that is destructive on several different levels. First off, the LGBT community now has to take all of the money that they were originally using for resources and they have to pour it into campaigning in order to keep those resources and not have to spend more money on resources later because of the destruction of counseling that's needed and people having mental problems and stuff like that. This originates from stuff like this because people feel like they are not welcome. Number five, there was a 39-hour filibuster in the Senate when this happened. 
that on its own was incredible because that's the longest filibuster that Missouri has seen in this past in past histories like governmental records it's it's crazy because 39 hours of constantly talking and trying to stall that bill now it did end because the Republicans pulled a measure on them but essentially these eight Democrats that did this filibuster they are awesome number six like I said before, our governor has spoken out against it. And I don't mean like just tweeting or something like that. He literally made a statement saying this is making us go backwards. He also referred to the Indiana law. He said that this was just like that and this is going to affect our economy very negatively. It's 2016 people. You literally just saw those numbers flash in front of my face. 2016. I should not be talking about LGBT people deserving to have rights in this country. Shouldn't be doing it. But yet I am still here. So let's save Missouri. Can we now? And number eight, just another reason why it is so important for everyone to be involved in this is because everyone knows an LGBT member. Everyone knows somebody in that community. Our community has come forward and become a lot more public in the past couple of years. And that's really good because people can connect on a personal level to those other individuals. And so just think about some of the people that you know that are LGBT and think, hmm, this is discrimination that could affect them. And it's a very, very big problem in this country. And I would hate to see the use of religion to try and block something and to make it appear that discrimination is okay. My family is very religious. My brother and sister are being baptized on Easter. And, you know, my my family goes to church every Sunday and everything like that. And they are very much against this bill. So don't think that everyone that is religious is for more of religious freedom. Because that's not really the point of this bill. People constantly take it and they turn it and they say, oh, well, this is for religious freedom. It's not for religious freedom. It's giving you an excuse to say no to gay people. And nothing in your religion states that you aren't allowed to help other people by giving service to them. And this is not saying that you have to participate in the ceremony of same-sex marriage. They're just buying something from you. And that's all they're asking. They're not asking for you to break your religion. So as always, thank you all for watching. Um, if you are interested in helping, you can call our House of Rep or Speaker of the House, um, which his number is located and all the information is located below. Make sure you check out all the links below as well because there is a lot of important information down there um, and there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of other LGBT discrimination bills that are going through the Missouri House and Senate right now as well, um, but this is just one of the biggest ones. So make sure you take a look at all those. If you live in Missouri, call your senator or House of Representative and encourage them not to vote for any LGBT discrimination. Thank you, and as always, have a gay day.